So, let's catch up. For the record, Taichi's safely back in Okinawa by now. Saw him off at the airport personally. <laughs> Bought him enough tchotchkes to fill a duffel bag. That cabaret fight shouldn't sour his memories of the city. Good. Taichi's lucky to have you looking out. Thank you, Date-san. Hang on. Too early to start thanking me. We need to talk about what's next. Hmm? Come on. Taichi's far from the only one you've shut out. You've been dead to the world. How many years? That's what I'm supposed to be. Dead men don't keep in touch. The Daidoji faction made that clear. They only back me as long as I stick to the shadows. Then what happens now? There's video evidence of Kazuma Kiryu still walking the earth. Force majeure, as the French call it, out of our hands. Daidoji say anything about that yet? No, nothing so far. As I thought, they're not omnipotent anyway. Not half as much as they were. What are you trying to say, Date-san? Only that, the way I see it, the Daidoji faction has reason to loosen your leash a bit. If circumstances align for a near miss or two with old friends, they'll likely be too occupied to care. Maybe. But you're forgetting. I keep my promises, whether I'm forced to or not. Oh, I'm well aware. But seeing Taichi didn't make you break your word, did it? You keep your distance, they never know you're there. I'm sure the Daidoji won't raise a stink. And if I were one of them, I'd be none too happy. Bloody hell! Does that backbone of yours ever bend? How about this, then? You know what Kamarucho's like these days. With the Tojo and Omi put to pasture, the Yakuza are just a memory. Petty criminals filled that gap. Better or worse, they're too insignificant to pin down. Cops have nothing to hold on to with them. I get it. So what? Some Kamarocho folk think it's worse than ever. Reminds me, Akiyama's gone quiet lately. Hmm? Akiyama? Can't find him? Date-san, when was the last time you two spoke? Just after the dissolution, I suppose. He caught when Kazuma Kiryu might have had a hand in it. Akiyama went hunting for anything he could find, but came back with nothing more than rumors. He rang me up late one night during his investigations. I've tried calling him since, but there's never an answer. He might have finally left town. What? So he just disappeared? Do you even know if he's alive? The thought occurred to me, so I've kept a watch going. If he shows up, the police will know. Are you worried? He's just one of plenty you've turned your back to, after all. I can't help but be curious. Of course I want to know how they're all doing. That's so. Glad you finally said it. I'd feel the same way in your shoes. It's time to do something about that. Tell me what you want from me, Date-san. I thought I'd been clear. This whole bucket kick list of yours is an opportunity. You and the Daidoji can stay honest with each other while we get you some closure on things. Leave everything to me. Akiyama, too. I'll dig him up somehow. Date-san. Who else out there do you need to see? Think. Kamarocho's got a lot of faces. You spent practically half your life on those streets. The people who meant the most to me are dead. Kazuma-san, Yumi, even Nishiki. I still visit their graves. In fact, I was just there recently. To say I'll be with them soon. God's sake. All right, let's focus on the ones who are still above ground. Because, like it or not, that includes you. For now. So who else, hmm? How's that daughter of yours doing? Huh? Saya? Oh, she's fine. She's married now. Three kids. She's... Uh, doesn't that mean you're a grandfather? <laughs> I don't believe it. You never thought to tell me? Because that's not what we're here to talk about, damn it. All right. 
quit trying to distract me, would you? Take your time if you have to. Think of Kamarocho, okay? I know there's someone there. Hmm. Kamarocho locals that I knew. Well, I guess there's Kazuki and Yuya. There you go. That's a great call, in fact. Kazuki and Yuya. They're doing well, last I checked. As you know, Stardust fell to the Korean Mafia some time back, but it's up and running again. <laughs> Is that so? Yep, now that we have that settled, I only have to come up with a plan. Some way the Daidoji faction will write off as a coincidence, just in case. Like with Taichi, we need the perfect setting. Give me a bit of time. Whatever you say. I'll go along with this because I trust you. Thanks, Date-san. Stop it. This is something I want to do. There's no need for one word of appreciation. 